It is a surah that is named after the pilgrimage itself. Allah Almighty speaks about the day of judgment right at the beginning. And he warns the people of the judgment. Yet the surah has highlighted the pilgrimage. Now, looking at the conviction that Hajar had, the mother of Ismail, may peace be upon them. She was convinced that my husband has left in order to earn the pleasure of Allah Almighty, in order to obey the instruction of Allah Almighty, and he has left with us none but Allah. This does not mean that you and I can just leave our families and say, I leave you in the care of Allah without making some form of an effort to provide for them. But in the case of the Prophet, yes, it was. Sometimes in desperate cases where you have no option, then definitely we leave it totally to Allah. But otherwise, Allah requires us while trusting him to make an effort to provide for our family members. Hajar and Ismail were in the desert of Mecca, no water, no food. And she started making an effort with conviction. Those two qualities are loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make an effort and be convinced that Allah will provide. So any one of us at any time, if we're going through hardship, difficulty, reconnect with Allah and you will know that the conviction developed as a result of the reconnection with Allah will guide you through to making the best possible effort as a human being, depending on your capacity that is God given. And then you see the doors fling open one after the other.